I'm Robert Rich. I'm professor of medicine and microbiology at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. Previously, I was the dean of the medical school at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. It got started because I was approached by uh, the publisher and asked if I would be willing to uh, take on a comprehensive textbook of clinical immunology. The feeling was that there was a need for uh, such a book. Uh, I had been speaking uh, nationally about the, el the evolution of the discipline of clinical immunology as a medical discipline, and so I think the publishers, uh, 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 which was Mosby at the time, uh, uh, basically thought that it was natural that I should uh, be involved in, in doing this, and I thought it was a great challenge, something that needed to be done. Well, it's changed dramatically. Uh, the most important change, of course, is the content. Uh, it's been uh, uh, about 20 years now that I've been involved in it, and immunology has, uh, has changed uh, uh, in every conceivable aspect uh, uh, during that period of time. But the book has also evolved very much, I think, in terms of its approachability, in terms of its capacity to communicate information, uh, in particular the technological advances in the uh, uh, presentation uh, of figures and illustrating materials and, and the way one can uh, approach a very complex subject uh, has made the book, uh, although a big comprehensive textbook has made it much more uh, approachable. The other thing is with new online with new online tools the book becomes much more easily searchable and, and uh, you don't have to spend a lot of time you can go right to put in keywords and uh, when you're online uh, you go right to where you want to go. It's for a a very broad audience. I've, I've said right from the outset of the book that clinical immunology is a discipline that touches virtually every organ system and by extension virtually every specialty and subspecialty of medicine. That being said, the people who are the uh, uh, primary target are the people for whom clinical immunology is a principal part of their practice. And I would say that includes allergist immunologists. Uh, it also includes people who deal a lot with autoimmune diseases, for example, rheumatologists. It certainly uh, is attractive to uh, people who are training uh, in those disciplines. Uh, but I think that if you, if you think that, for example, in a uh, division of endocrinology. There will be at least one person in, an, in a large division who is basically considers him or herself an immunologist. If you are in a division of neurology, there will be at least one person who considers him or herself an immunologist. So the, the target audience is extremely broad. And the other thing is that with this new edition, we have tried to uh, emphasize new possibilities in development that cross many platforms of disease uh, and in order to, because as we have become increasingly interested in translational medicine we wanted to give guideposts along the way to people who are doing translational research whether they're MDs or PhDs uh, uh, that may be relevant to help them frame their own ideas about new advances and new opportunities. People, people at Elsevier have been terrific to work with. They have been uh, professional in every sense of the word. They have been uh, demanding as they needed to be demanding. Uh, they have understood uh, the need for discipline in putting together a, a book of this sort. But mostly, they've held to very high standards, uh, and I think those high standards uh, basically show when you simply open the pages of the book.